Hello, welcome to another Tweak Command video. Just like my first one, but this time we're going to be making high-end speaker cable. And I'd like to show you some of the stuff you're going to need to complete the task. Now, first of all, we're going to need our conductor material, which is 0.6, 10% filled copper silver. Okay, then we're going to need PTFE tape, which we're using for insulation. And we're going to need a soldering iron, uh, a heat gun for the heat shrink, uh, heat shrink, different colours, and silver solder. Right, one thing I forgot to say is you need some speaker connections, some banana plugs, and uh, this is the, the conductor material again, it's 10% silver uh, filled copper, so in its four nines. Right, the, the length of the speaker cable we'll be making today is uh, 1.8. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure out the conductor material just over 1.8 because it's a twisted configuration and it will take up some extra cable. So basically um, we will measure 1.8. So. Right, we're going to start by cutting our conductor, measuring our conductor out. I'm going to use my son here. Hold that up to there, right at the end, and you go over there, over to there, because I've got to measure it out of one point, about 1.8, 1 1 just over, so, say 1850, which is there. Let go now, is that? Let go. Okay, now we've got our first conductor, and we're going to use five of these. So 0 0.6 is going to make a conductor of 3 mil. So I'm going to cut another four of these. Right, I've got my five conductors. I've just twisted them together at the end. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be twisting the conductors together. We're just going to be twisting the whole five of them. See, if you come up close, there you go. I'm twisting them just so it's... Uh, this is to stop any radio frequency information getting into the cable. Okay, so we're going to twist the whole cable right the way down to the very end. Right now, I've, I've um, twisted the five conductors together now. They're all, they're all twisted right round. Okay, so this has made about 1.8 now, exactly the length that I, I want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use some PTFE tape now as the insulator. So what we're going to do, we're going to have to twist it right around the whole cable till we get down to the end and we're doing two coats of this two layers right so basically you need to start your ptfe tape off like so it's quite time consuming so you don't have to pull it tight it's just a loose wrapping around. Right now we're coming to the end of the second layer of PTFE tape. So if we just go around a bit more until we get to the end. You know, we'll come back on ourselves a little bit. Uh, right, okay. Top that off. Right, that's our first conductor, which is purely covered, totally covered in PTFE tape, two layers. Right now, we've got to make another one exactly the same as this now. Okay. Right, okay, this is our second conductor. We're going to do exactly the same thing as the first one. Uh, we're just going to start twisting it around and then we're going to cover it in. Uh, two coats of PTFE again. Here we have our two conductors now, both covered in two layers of PTFE tape. Now we're going to have to mark one of the conductors, okay, with a red marker so we indicate the, the negative and the positive. So we're going to put some marker pen around that one and also around this end here as well. 
We'll be using the uh, heat shrink to go over it later, red and black, so we'll know exactly what's what. Right, okay. Now, we're going to get the two conductors now. We're going to measure down around about 80 mil, 85 mil. And then we're going to twist, start the twist. We're going to twist them again. Because what this does is it stops any radio frequency information, electromagnetic interference getting into the cable by giving it a, by twisting it. Okay, we're going to start twisting it and then we're going to get some PTFE tape around there to hold it in place while we twist the whole cable. It's most important that you mark those because if you don't mark them and you get down the end of the twist you won't know what conductors what, what one's con conductors what. Right, okay, now let's move over to here. Okay, now I'll show you, we're going to keep those to the side and we're going to now start the twist. You can, it doesn't, it's not that important to keep them exactly the right um, distance but just go with it and see how you get on. It's quite fiddly. Right, we have now twisted both conductors together. So now what we've got to do is we've got to cover now from that point there to that point there, all in PTFE tape to hold the twist in place so it doesn't move. And we're going to start by get our PTFE tape again. We're only going to need one one layer of this because we are going to cover it all in heat shrink. Take it back a bit more. Right, now we've got our two conductors PTFE taped together after we twisted it in a twisted geometry. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to cover it in um, heat shrink. So what we're going to do, we're going to get the body heat shrink down there first, but we're not going to shrink that at first. So what we're going to do is we're going to just measure it. So we're going to measure it down to about there. So about there, and I'm going to cut that with the scissors nice and straight. Right, okay. So now we've got to open the end of the heat shrink up. I want to open it up a bit because I was it's awkward for the cable to get through at first. Right along. Okay, that's done. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to just thread all that through there. The reason we're putting this on first, we're not going to shrink it on there, but we've put it on first is because otherwise, once we get the speaker connections on the end, it won't be able to go through very easy and it gets stuck. Don't want to try not to bend the conductor too much. The conductors. Must be coming through to the end now soon. Just a little bit more to go. A little bit more to go. Let 
we go we're out the other end. Cool. It's uh, quite tough that was to get out on there. Right, okay. So I'm just gonna pull that back a little bit. We've got that back a little bit. And now we're gonna put the two pieces of heat shrink on after we've soldered the uh, the speaker connections on the end. Okay, so we know one's the red. Right, now we're going to solder the uh, speaker connections on the end. Um, we've got these um, beryllium copper 24 karat gold plated banana plugs. So what we're going to do now is going to just wrap some wrap some solder around the end of the conductor. Like so. Okay. Snip that off there. Put that up, up and down yeah, like so, so it doesn't slip. Bring those onto it. Okay, now I'm gonna put this speaker connection. Onto the end there. Come back a little bit with it. I think. Right, okay. Oh, I need something heavy to go onto there as so I've just hold it in place. Just stick the heat gun there. Right, okay. I'm going to start soldering that onto there. We've put some solder on the inside of it as well. Okay, that's one soldered. So I'm going to put the second one on now. We want to make sure they're the same distance. Pull that one back there. So I'm going to do the same again. So line them up, make sure we get them right about the same. A little bit. It's about right. Right, okay. So we're going to solder that one again. Okay, that's that one soldered. Just double check they're all nice and tight. Okay. Right, now what we're going to do now on this end is we're going to put the heat shrink onto So you need your heat shrink gun, your Black & Decker heat gun. Okay, um, where we indicated the red one, we're going to use a red heat shrink. So we're going to let, offer it up to there, measure it. That's the right distance. Okay, let's double check that's about right. A little bit long, slightly long. Trim it back very slightly, it's not a lot in it, but. Right, okay. So that one's going over the end of there. Okay, down to there. Well, make sure you don't get anything over the black because you wanna, we don't want to heat heat shrink that yet until after. Right, okay, so we're going to heat shrink that together. Well, that 
that's all nicely shrunk. So we need the black one. Do the same thing again, just offer it up and cut it to them. Okay, that one's nicely shrunk now. So what we want to do now is we want to turn this our attention to this end. I'm going to try to poke, pull that through there a bit more. Get that off. Okay, we've got that down to there. So we're going to do exactly the same thing on this end. Now we've got both of our speaker connections soldered on and the heat shrink applied and now we've just pulled up the the main black heat shrink that's going to cover the whole cable so we want to start heat, heat, heating that up and shrinking it so what we're going to do now is to uh, heat this all around the cable and right up the coast We've got to go up the whole cable and do this, so it takes a bit of time to zoom in. Okay, now here's our speaker cable, 1.8. Um, we've heat shrinked the main body over, and now it's totally completed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to indicate, with just a pen on the red one, the amplifier end, the, the uh, speaker end, sorry. So we want to use a little, little arrow there, so we're going to just put a little red mark on there with a pen, just with an arrow there, obviously we can't do it on the black one, so we do it on the red one, so then that, you know your signal flow, so if you ever take it off, you don't want to turn it around the other way, because you've got to mess about rerunning it back in again, so that's that one, and uh, this is the second one that we made earlier on, or the first one I should say, um, so now we've got our two, two sets of, we've got a whole set of speaker cable now, so we'll do the same thing there with the arrow, There we go, that's our little arrow on there. What I'd like to say is uh, all this stuff is rel 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 readily available on uh, eBay. You can get the wire off there, the heat shrink, the plugs, the whole lot. Now you would expect to pay around about £50 to make this set of speaker cable. And this this would it, it easily cost you around about seven eight hundred pound to buy a set of speaker cables good quality as this that's what all these manufacturers do this is quite a simple design i like to keep it all simple because it's nice and easy thank you guys for watching tweaker man our next video will be about cleaning records so if you like our stuff subscribe and like it okay thank you very much bye